The film starts in South London, where gang violence on the streets have left many youths dead and many mothers mourning their children. Timmy and Marco have been best friends since they were children. Timmy lives in Deptford while Marco is from Peckham. They hang out with their friends Dwayne and Hakeem after school and are invited to a party by another girl, Karina. They are approached by Timmy's crush Leah and her friend Cheyenne, who are also going to the party. Timmy awkwardly tries to talk to Leah, leading the others to mock him. A couple of Deptford gang members, led by Matter, are approached by rival Peckham youths. Some of Matter's boys run, but he and his best friend Gallus attempt to retaliate until the Peckham gang start shooting. Matter then plans to get back at them. After school, the guys hang out at the mall where they see Leah and Cheyenne again. As Timmy goes to talk to her, he is harassed by two Peckham boys, Skitzer and Big T, who had their eyes on the girls. Marco steps in to defend Timmy, and they back off because they know Marco's brother Switcher is a Peckham gang leader. Timmy and Marco then go home together but stop by a shop. Timmy is approached by an old friend named Kieran, who now goes by Killy. One of Killy's mates tries to bug Marco, but Timmy steps between them. Marco then goes home with Timmy where his mother cooks them dinner. Marco goes home to hang out with Switcher, until he hears about the fight that's about to happen with the Detford gang. Matter and Gallus go out and fire at the Peckham gang, but Switcher shoots Gallus in the back. Matter tries to help Gallus, but the feds are coming, and he is forced to leave his friend to choke on his own blood. Switcher runs back home and tells Marco to tell whoever asks that he was there the whole day. Meanwhile, one of the Detford boys calls Matter out by saying it's his fault Gallus is dead since they could have backed out of the fight, but Gallus always did what Matter said. The four friends go to Karina's party. Timmy tries to dance with Leah, but Dwayne steps in first. However, she shows interest in him and asks to dance. Before they can get any closer, everyone gets kicked out after a fight breaks out. Back home, Marco and Switcher get arrested by cops, but they are soon bailed out. Timmy begins to see Leah, and the two have sex for the first time and cement their relationship. Marco goes to meet with a girl he met on Instagram, but he disappoints her during sex because he finishes sooner than she expected. As he is going home, Killy and his buddies accost him and start to beat him up, even brutally breaking his arm before they hear feds arriving. The next day at school, Timmy finds Marco telling Dwayne and Hakeem what happened. Although Timmy feels bad and says he'll tell Killy off, Marco blames him for what happened since he called Timmy for help, but he realizes that he was with Leah and that they are together now. Timmy tries to be the bigger man and walk off until Marco calls Leah a hoe. She shoves him, he slaps her, and Timmy punches Marco in the face. Their friendship is now officially over. Timmy and Leah start going out as a couple, while Marco plans with Switcher on how to get back against Killy and his guys. Dwayne and Hakeem stop hanging out with both boys after the fallout. While Timmy and Leah are out, the Peckham boys start to beat on Timmy. Leah tries to defend him, but Marco shoves her so hard that she hits the ground and dies after her skull smashes against the pavement. Marco also knocks Timmy out with a brick. He is later arrested and sent to prison, while Timmy is in a coma. Three years later, Marco has gotten out of prison, and Timmy has joined Matter and Killy as part of the Deptford gang. He has not stopped planning revenge against Marco for killing Leah, but Marco does feel remorse over it. Timmy harasses Hakeem on the streets for info on Marco's whereabouts, but Hakeem doesn't know anything. Timmy and Matter manage to gather intel on Switcher's location. They, along with a few other Deptford boys, corner the Peckham boys and start fighting. Switcher tries to kill Matter, but Timmy stabs Switcher in the back. He grabs Switcher's gun and tries to shoot Marco, but the gun jams, and Marco is able to run away. The Deptford boys grab Matter and flee. Marco goes to the hospital with his family and learns that Switcher is now paralyzed from the waist down and will never walk again. Marco weeps because he feels he failed his brother. He calls Timmy and vows revenge. Violence between the two gangs starts to escalate as they keep trying to kill each other on the streets. Marco and Switcher's cousin Tyrone arrives to help get payback. He approaches Killy and tries to get him to turn on Matter. Matter is planning the attack on Peckham youths, 
but Timmy doesn't think it's a smart idea to do it so soon. Matter insults him and Leah, leading to them almost getting into it until the others separate them. Later that night, Matter goes to Timmy's house to apologize to him for what he said about Leah. Timmy joins him as they decide to go after the Peckham boys together with Killy. Timmy is left in the van while Matter gets accosted by Tyrone, and Killy reveals his treachery. Tyrone manages to get distracted, leaving Matter an opportunity to knock him out. Killy admits that he did it because he was jealous that Timmy became Matter's new, younger, protege, when he feels it should have been him. He tries to shoot Matter, but the gun jams. They go for Tyrone's gun, while Marco goes to burn Timmy in the van. He douses the van with petrol and plans to light it on fire. He contemplates for a moment, thinking back on their time as friends, but his anger over recent events, like Timmy paralyzing Switcher, leads Marco to make up his mind and set the van ablaze. After he leaves, Matter shows up after shooting Killy dead. He tries to pry the van door open, but Timmy starts to succumb to the smoke inhalation as he cannot get himself out. He resigns to his fate and tells Matter he will be with Leah now. Matter gets the door open, but Timmy is already dead as the authorities arrive. Matter later turns into a snitch for the feds, leading to Tyrone and Marco's arrests. Switcher cannot cope with the news, so he commits suicide by overdosing on pills, leaving his mother devastated at losing both her boys. Matter leaves the gang life behind and becomes a motivational speaker to try and help other youths avoid the tragedy he has encountered.